All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the optimization and scale phase and the checklist, if you will, or things you need to be thinking through as you're in this phase of being live. Now, this is an exciting part of your business because all of the hard work that went into creating the right strategy and then building the funnels, the offers, and the advertising to get you ready to go live should have taken you, you know, 60, 90, 120 days, right? Depending on what you're building, okay? Depending on how advanced, depending on how robust that your, your strategy was to begin with. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about your checklist, if you will, for optimization and scale. Once you're live, then what are the things that you need to be thinking through as the owner of your business, okay? You're not gonna be doing everything in your business, okay? At least I hope not, okay? Because then you'd be lone wolf in it. You know how, you know where that will get you. But these are some of the things that you need to be thinking through, okay? Of course, your ads, okay? Where are you advertising, okay? Okay, you should, there's a, that's a whole huge category. You're advertising on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, affiliate marketing, email traffic, banner advertising, like where, where are all the places that you're advertising, okay? And it's different. For agencies and experts and e-commerce store owners, it's different. Not everybody should be advertising in the same place. There's all types of traffic sources that are out there. Again, you never ever, ever, ever have a traffic problem. You always will ever have an offer and a funnel problem. Again, offer first, right? Then funnel second, not the other way around, okay? Do you have a checklist for optimization and scale when it comes to your offers, okay? And what are you looking at on your offers? We look at engagement. We look at conversion. For example, let's say our funnel is a webinar funnel and our offer is a course that's sold through a webinar, okay? So on a week to week basis, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at what's our lead acquisition rate, okay? What's the average, co uh, average cart value? Okay, okay, but we're doing webinars, we're thinking, okay, this is what our lead acquisition rates are. $5 a lead, $5.50 a lead, whatever, whatever it might be, $3.50 a lead, whatever, right? Okay, we're looking at how many people are showing up to the webinar? How many people are staying on to the webinar until the time we make an offer? How many people are buying live versus how many people are buying through the replays, right? If you're doing replays, right? So these are some of the things that we think through and then you look at, okay, here's how much we spent, here's our expenses, our advertising costs, and here's our income, here's our revenue, right? So you're looking at those two things constantly on a week-to-week -week basis. You should be tracking it through, at least tracking it through a spreadsheet, right, that you can look at and you can know what's happening in your business at any given time. What's the opt-in rate on your webinar um, registration pages, okay? That's important. If it's 10%, that sucks, right? You need to, you need to uh, you know, change some things around. Obviously, the headline needs to change. The benefits of why they should register for the webinar in the first place needs to awfully shift if 10% is what you're getting for your webinar registration rates. You want to get that up 30%, 40%, 50%, okay? So here's some of the things. What are your conversion rates, okay? Are people sending up your value ladder? Right? The whole purpose of a value ladder is to have more offers, additional offers that people can buy to help them on their journey, right? If you're selling a course, great. What's the next level for them? What else do you have to offer them, okay? Let's say you do a webinar and you have a course for $1,000, okay? If that's all you have, then you, need to, then you need to fit your advertising budget and your development budget, your team budget, all into that 997 offer if that's what you're if that's how much you're selling your course for thousand dollars right now that's why we build value ladders so we can have workshops or coaching or masterminds or events like we can have other things or even other courses that's why we think through the, the value ladder and have additional offers because in the front end of your business you always should be looking for where do i break even okay how am i spending money okay and you're going to want to do that effectively Okay, so I'd recommend hiring a team of people who are ninja at advertising, who can drive your lead acquisition rate down and increase your profitability, right? I don't recommend you becoming an expert in advertising on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Now, I recommend you know about it, you learn about it so you can know if your team is doing it effectively. That's smart, right? Like know about it from a high level, but then help and get someone to help you execute it, 
okay? There's no reason for you to be executing everything in your business, okay? You'll be pulling your hair out and, uh, or, or you'll die out because you're overwhelmed, burnout, stressed out, frustrated, and you might even feel that way now. So find the right team that you can align with. Sales, do you, are you combining all, uh, sales online and offline? Okay, some of our most successful campaigns, we don't just have everything being sold through the internet. We combine offline and online together, especially in the expert space and the agency space. Not so much in the e-commerce space, but definitely in the expert, okay, and in the agency space. We're combining those two. So do you have a sales team? What are your, what are your metrics, okay? Who is your best closers, right? All those things are things you should be thinking about in the optimization and scale phase. Are people buying your other offers? And your tribe, like, is that part of your goal? I hope it is. I hope in your strategy, you thought through your tribe name, okay? What's the identity that you're gonna create for your new tribe? Then think about what is your goals? Are your goals centered around building that tribe and helping that tribe become more successful, more healthy, more wealthy, more happy? Like, what is, what are your goals for your tribe? Think through those. Know them because the only way to measure success is by having that information, that data that can be driving the ship. Okay, I hope it's not just money goals, okay? Because that's short-sighted. You wanna have your, your influence goals, your legacy goals, your tribe goals. And then coaching. Do you have someone that can fly over your business at a 30,000 foot view and can look at, okay, here's what you're doing in your advertising, okay? And can see holes. Okay, because I guarantee you, there are holes right now, okay, in your advertising strategy, okay? Okay, unless you're a well-optimized, well-oiled machine, okay, are you doing advanced remarketing? Okay, if you're not, there's holes. Um, in your funnels, okay, is there someone that has a, a bit, that is able to come down and look at your funnels and say, hmm, I wonder, how, like, let's see, let's take a look at how those are converting. Or your offers, right? When you're in your funnels, when you make those offers, whether it's a webinar or a sales video or whatever it might be, what are your conversion rates there? Okay, and so you always wanna have a pulse on those three buckets, okay? If you have any questions, be happy to answer any questions about these three phases, right? The strategy phase, the build phase, and the optimization and scale phase. Know what it takes to run a successful business. A business produces a million a year or more, okay? It takes thought, takes strategy, takes execution, takes accountability, okay? All of these things are important, okay? If you have any questions, feel free, reach out, connect with us, we'd be happy to help you in any of these areas, and this is what we do, and we'd help be happy to also support you as it comes to coaching you and your teams as well, okay? So if you have people that are doing it, we can come in like a sniper and see what is it that they're doing and are they doing it well or are they doing it okay? Okay, we can identify this stuff quickly because we do it and have been doing this for 12 years. Okay, so, so make sure you run everything through these checklists and again, if you have any help, need any help, reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you out. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and if you love this video, be sure to leave a comment, tell me your top three takeaways or top takeaway from today's video. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you can get notified every time that we upload a new video here on YouTube. And before you go, make sure you grab your free golden ticket. This free golden ticket is loaded with our seven figure and our eight figure expert agency and e-commerce funnels, emails, and scripts that we've used to build multi-million dollar businesses in a variety of different markets. So. Thank you again for watching this video. Hope you got massive value from it. And I look forward to hearing what your takeaway was from this video. And also, I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos that we will be releasing.